Hi guys, this is Vitaly with AFT Dispatch and A2C Logistics and in today's video I'd like to speak with you about the indictment of Mr. Trevor Milton, the founder of Nikola Motor Company. Now before we get started I'd like to ask you to please like the video, be sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a single release of our videos where every Friday we're talking about something that could benefit you in your trucking businesses, in your trucking careers, as well as cover the loads we've successfully booked for our customers consisting of leased on owner operators and carriers operating under their own MC authorities running under our truck dispatch services as always guys big big thank you for all the likes you've provided on all the previous videos please do keep them coming and let's talk about mr trevor milton the founder of nicola corp now those of you who followed our channel for some time might remember a video we produced several months ago a very popular video covering the autonomous trucking as well as uh, the effects that this would have on a trucking industry moving forward if you haven't seen that video I'll leave a little card up here in the corner it's a must watch it'll give you really good context about what this video is going to be about today now we must go back about four and a half years to December of 2016 where I was very lucky to be invited to the global unveiling event of the Nikola one uh, hydrogen, hydrogen electric uh, prototype truck that they were presenting to the world to see for the very first time here in Salt Lake City this was a major event with some of the brightest minds in the industry some of the biggest names have flew in from all over the world news coverage from every corner uh, the Utah governor had actually attended the event and made a brief speech I got to meet uh, Trevor Milton himself shake his hand have a quick conversation as well as uh, take some photos we even got to get inside the truck itself and make some exclusive video content it's a two-minute video I'll leave a little card up here for you to watch it's a really cool video I definitely recommend watching it we got inside the truck you could see that you know the condo the cabin the cockpit all the uh, electronics and everything inside the truck very very quickly definitely don't miss that video but we move forward four and a half years and mr. Uh, Trevor Milton is being indicted and charged with uh, uh, misleading investors you know the indictment was actually unsealed uh, today J uh, July 29 2021 in the Manhattan Federal Courts in New York City with false claims about the vehicles and uh, duping of investors now mr. Milton was charged with uh, two counts of securities fraud and one count of wire fraud uh, two very major uh, uh, allegations uh, against the person now he is out on bail at a hundred million dollar bail uh, funded by his personal properties yet the Manhattan <clears throat> US Attorney Audrey Strauss actually said that Mr. Milne repeatedly used social media appearances interviews on television podcasts and uh, print to make uh, false and misleading uh, claims about the status of the trucks and the technologies they were presenting now there, there is video out there of Mr. Uh, Trevor Milton actually claiming that they have fully functioning Nikola One prototypes, which could not be further from the truth. I've seen the trucks myself. They were inoperable. They were missing gears. They were missing motors. And uh, the truck uh, was not one that you could drive down a road in fact they have videos of the truck driving down a road but it's a later turn out to be they it was actually rolling down a hill and that's how they got that footage furthermore they have footage of the vehicle actually driving but and although it said on the side of the truck they had a stencil saying that it's a hydrogen electric vehicle the truck was actually operated using uh, natural gas they had multiple different uh, kind of uh, gaffes out there with a hydrogen electric vehicle uh, being presented as something that it is not they had uh, issues with the badger pickup truck which I'll leave uh, photos of that and uh, along with some of the other photos from the event uh, that was you know, definitely a sight to be seen they also talked about hydrogen being produced by Nikola at reduced costs well the truth is that they weren't producing any sort of hydrogen any cost whatsoever they talked about uh, producing batteries and other parts and components of the truck yet they were purchasing them from third-party vendors furthermore they did the biggest uh, no-no in the accounting world in the business world where they actually counted 100% countable pre-orders as part of revenue a very very big no-no in the Securities and Exchange Commission as well as the DOJ a big no now Mr. Milton actually has no formal background in engineering and uh, the, the stock was actually worth at one point an eight and a half billion dollars which blew out uh, blew out of the water some of the biggest names in the, in the automotive industry and uh, currently the stock is plummeted to uh, right around twelve dollars a share I was actually offered the stock at uh, pre IPO pricing which uh, would have been such a wonderful thing I did not take advantage of it but it turned out to be a great thing that I didn't buy any shares because now I would have lost all a ton a ton of money 
Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this and uh, where this case is going to go, where future cases like this are going to go, where autonomous trucking is going to go and how this is going to affect the industry moving forward. What are your thoughts about that? Now, I'm gonna switch over to camera. We're gonna look over the loads that we book for our customers. And if you haven't liked the video, please hit that like button for us and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Welcome back guys, let's take a look at some of these loads, some really good stuff to report on. I'm gonna start off with a dry van coming out of San Diego, California, going to Meridian, Mississippi. 36,000 pound load of office supplies, 1,850 miles, booked at $7,200. Got them $389 per mile on lots and lots of miles. Then Salesian, Alabama to Brazelton, Georgia. is a very light load, 4,000 pound uh, load of home goods and furniture, 290 miles, short run, $1,650 booked, Got them 569 per mile. They finished off with Grovetown, Georgia, with a one pick, three dropper. Drops in Mooresville, Indiana, Menear, Illinois, and Galesburg, Illinois. This, this is a 14,000 pound load of tractor parts, 860 miles booked at $3,000 even. Got them 349 per mile. They finished off really strong, running Friday to Friday. Ended up grossing $11,850, booked at 395 per loaded mile on their 3,000 miles. I mean, very well done. Almost $12,000 in a dry van running just three loads in a week. Very, very well done. Next, we have a reefer coming out of Osceola, Iowa, going to Memphis, Tennessee. 39,000 pound load of uh, frozen foods. 593 miles booked at $3,100. Got them 523 a mile. Then Jonesboro, Arkansas to Woodburn, Indiana. 43,000 pound load of frozen Nestle products. This is a Nestle to Nestle delivery. 589 miles, booked at $3,000, got them 509 per mile. Then Winnemac, Indiana to Orlando, Florida. Full truckload of bulk potatoes, 1,081 miles, booked at $4,000, got them 370 per mile. Then Leesburg, Florida to Abington, Virginia. 17,000 pound load of frozen groceries, 689 miles, booked at 1850, got them 269 per mile. These guys also did very well. It's a reefer running $11,950, uh, running Monday to Monday, got them 2,952 loaded miles running at 405 per loaded mile. Plus, they only had 353 uh, miles of deadhead, which got them a total of 362 per mile with deadhead included. Very well done. $4 average, nearly 12,000 bucks on a reefer and almost 3,000 miles. Next, we have a dry van team. This, these guys are brand new to us. Recently started very, very strong, hit a lot of miles and did very well. We've got uh, Tacoma, Washington, going to Rapid City, South Dakota, 41,000 pound load of laminate sheets, 1,140 miles booked at $4,000, got them 351 a mile. Then Colony was uh, Wyoming to Joliet, Illinois, 41.8 uh, load of cat liver, uh, uh, cat litter, pardon me. Uh, 1,005 miles booked at $2,000, got them $1.99 per mile. Then Valparaiso, Indiana, going to Welford, South Carolina, 7,000 pound light load of empty boxes, 689 miles booked at $2,250, got them $3.28 per mile. Then Simpsonville, South Carolina to Sheboygan Falls, uh, Wisconsin, this is an 18,000 pound load of cellulose film, 872 miles booked at $3,000, got them $3.44 per mile. Then Lancaster, Wisconsin to Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania, 11,000 pound load of uh, food products, 868 miles booked at $3,500, got them 403 per mile. Then Ben Salem, Pennsylvania to Wellington, Kansas, 35,000 pound load of aluminum coils, 1,359 miles booked at $2,700, got them $1.99 per mile. And I finished off strong with McPherson, Kansas to Holding, uh, Holding Fort, Minnesota, 17,000 pound load of uh, insulation, 636 miles booked at $2,050, got them 322 per mile. Did an excellent job. They ran a lot of miles, grossed uh, $19,500 in their dry van, running 6,567 miles as a team, uh, running at 297 uh, per mile. Guys, uh, interesting thing is I ran uh, their, their weight and the average weight that they had was just over 24,000 pounds on the weight. So the excellent, very light load on this dry van. Well done. Next, we have a, a, a reefer coming out of uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, going to Seymour, Indiana. 40,000 pound load of refrigerated food products. It was a drop at Walmart, 440 miles, booked at $1,200, got them 273 a mile. Then Trotwood, Ohio to Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, this is a uh, 35,000 pound load 
of uh, freight of all kinds running 20 degrees on a reefer, 465 miles booked at $2,400 got them 516 per mile. Then Bessemer City, North Carolina to Perryville, Maryland, 20,000 pound load of food, 500 miles even, running at $2,100, got them 420 per mile. Then uh, they got a, another one out of Parkersburg, Pennsylvania, with a one pick three dropper to New Berlin, Wisconsin, Woodbury, Minnesota, and a final in Rush City, Minnesota, 40,000 pound load of beer. That's 1,185 miles booked at $3,300, got them 278 per mile. And they finished off with St. Michael, Minnesota to Romeoville, Illinois, 39,000 pound load of eggs, 444 miles booked at $1,400, got them 315 per mile. And these guys did a wonderful job running, uh, running $10,400 in their reefer. They ran for six days, finished off at home, very convenient, they ran 3,034 miles, got their reset done at home and ended up running at 343 uh, per loaded mile. Excellent, excellent job. We're gonna finish off with a dry van coming out of uh, Moreland, Oklahoma to Tacoma, Washington. 6,000 pound light load of arts and crafts, equipment and accessories. 1,818 miles booked at $6,000, got them 330 per mile. Then Kent, Washington to West Jordan, Utah. 14,000 pound load of hand tools. 838 miles booked at $2,000, got them 239 a mile. And I finished off with Linden, Utah to Centralia, Washington. 42,000 pound load of bag uh, minerals. This is 882 miles booked at $2,862.02. Got um, uh, 324 per mile uh, on that one. Ended up running Thursday to Friday. Uh, ended up grossing uh, $10,862.02 on their 3,538 miles uh, booked at 307 per loaded mile. And uh, they only had 48 deadhead miles in total and uh, two very, very light loads at 6,000 and 14,000 pounds. So excellent run and uh, they only ran Thursday to Friday so didn't even finish off a week and made almost $11,000 and a great average. And guys, like I always tell you every week, if you're not making this kind of money, you certainly can, whether you're a leased on owner operator or a carrier, we work with both types of drivers. All you have to do is reach out, give us a call or text us at 801-448-6363. You can also visit us online at aftdispatch.com forward slash go. Uh, on any one of our pages, there's going to be a chat box. Uh, version of it is going to scroll down through the bottom of this page. Look for that, fill it out, takes about 10 seconds, and we'll get your information and contact you, answer any and all questions that you, uh, you may have. And uh, there is no reason to sit out this incredible really hot market. You should be making a lot of money right now. Every week we produce these videos showing you the kind of money that folks make out there. And there's no reason that you shouldn't be either. At least on owner operators are welcome. Carriers are, are welcome. Just get in touch with us. Again, 801-448-6363 or aftdispatch.com forward slash go. Until next week, guys, stay healthy, be wealthy. Take care.